Good evening. Let's do some more Elder Scrolls. And I can't hear anything, which means it's using the wrong mic. Now it's using the right one. Testing, testing, hello. Yep. Cool. Hello. I'm still yes. New fans weren't properly plugged in. There we go, now I can hear it. Speak. What oh, passphrase? Speak. Welcome and enter. Oh, lucky guess. to see our next item you'll have to wait like everyone else no private previews you should know the rules the loot nice patina just a trifle i came across in one of my hunts it went on the block earlier too bad you weren't here then there was only one buyer a little bidding war now i do wish you had been here you are skirting the rules no revealing identities of buyers still if you have... The decrees from the Blue Palace are simply absurd. Investigating transfers of suspected stolen property. That white mammoth certainly drew quite a bit of interest. So... You know, as great as it is to be here to acquire some of these incredibly rare items, the excitement of being here... But yeah, they're wearing nothing. Oh, look, another masked person. How dream instrument. Oh, that loot. Yes, a mantelpiece for my muse. Buy it. I would never. Oh, wait. You just had. Oh, 
Yes. Perhaps you seek this one's mistress. She... <sighs> what is this scrap you give Mazakir? Well, of course. You've returned! Have you... Ah, Petra Loop returns home! You know, I wooed my first love with this very loot, and my third as well. Ah, thus begin. I assembled the museum for just this moment, but I think... Ah, wonderful! I left a copy of Nell's Hidden Loves on the table there. Have a look. Wonderful. Yes, indeed. Let the... Ah, yes, I see so you have. I commend your dedication to the arts. When all the... Of course it will be. We will use the instruments to... As you fill the museum, bards from all... With the clues in Nils... Certainly. It... Visit the crafting stations. Um, I'm a big fan of the Assassin's Creed games, so I'm definitely waiting for that to come out. Um, I've heard there's a new Witcher and a new Cyberpunk being worked on, so I can't wait till those come out too. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh... I honestly can't think of anything else right now. Oh, there is a tavern, um, simulator game that... I mean, the developer's working on that I really am looking forward to. Yes, I did. I finished Phantom Liberty. I did. The, I even did the ending for Phantom Liberty. I still like the original ending I got. The Phantom Liberty one was just too sad. Yeah, I, the original ending I had was um, leaving with the uh, nomads. Can't remember the bloody the bloody group's name anymore. Yeah? What do you think? Oh, um, which ending did you go, not the final ending, but like, did you, like, what ending path did you take? If you don't mind me asking. 
did you help Songbird? Did you work with Reed? What did you do in the end? Did you kill Reed? Did you save him? Sorry, not you know that's not an option. Did you kill Songbird? Did you let her live? Right. Yeah, I didn't pick that ending, but now I'm like, in hindsight, should I pick that in? The ending I did, I was, um, what I did was the, I worked with the dude, I worked with, um, worked with Reed, so someone went back to government, but my hope is and so that way there's at least a chance that we're uh, having a life. Because my hope with that is, it's like, yeah, the current president's going to treat her like shit, but assuming it's actually a democracy, she's not going to be the president for much longer. And in which case, hopefully, she'll eventually, like, have a life again. Because I feel like in space, she needs more help than she, like, she needs help and she won't ask for it. Oh well. Each their own. Was that the right decision? Not sure, but... Yeah. Yes, I did. I binged it, so I feel like I kind of, like, I don't know, not ruined it, but, like, I don't think it was investors as I should have been. I mean, it was still bloody good, but, like, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I could watch more Cyberpunk, like 20, like Cyberpunk World content. I mean, I'm a fan of Cyberpunk as a genre anyway, but like, I want to see more Cyberpunk content regardless. Like, I watched, I read the Altered Carbon books, and then I liked the first season, but then when they they just completely ruined it with the second season, it pissed me off. The only thing I didn't like about the first season was that they changed on on Royce to be the the rebels. Not having I played D and D, um, and I can't even get a group of D and D players together. So trying to get someone to play Cyberpunk, I feel like is a whole other level. But I'd definitely be interested in it potentially. I'm sure there's a place I can play if I find it because I live in a. I live in Melbourne, so I'm sure I can find somewhere that will host a game, but yeah. setting up camp in the midst of the western holds. I'll say this for the Grey Host. They aren't afraid to draw attention to themselves. What's bringing you to Australia? I things while I was waiting for you to show up. It's just as we thought. Just always wanted to come here, or... Camp is a supply depot for their job opened up, or a bit of a mixture of things? I saw stacks of witch pikes, rows of reliquaries, and jars of what I assume is the refined netherroot brew. Right. And I heard the camp leader, a nasty creature named Sableye, tell his troops to make sure to use the new supply that just arrived from Blackreach. Let's go grab a jar or two.
Fair enough. Um, which part of the country are you going to be moving to? Have you figured that out yet, or...? Hmm. No jars in this cart. Let's try another one. So... Rest of the year... Melbourne weather, I mean, it won't be as cold. Um, like most of the year, Melbourne weather can be very sporadic, like London can be. Like it can be raining one minute and not the next. Um, like winters are cold, but they're not too cold, and like summers don't get extremely hot. Yeah, if you want, hot, it's hot and humid all the time, and I mean, it's hot all the time in Brisbane. But then you've also got really massive humidity in, um, summer. Now, that's just when, though. In terms of affordability, honestly, I don't know. I don't know, is this if you're looking for affordability? Avoid Sydney. <laughs> this is boring. Darwin, I don't know enough about, but... Yeah. Not this card either. I hope we didn't miss it. Prison's almost like a, a cross between maybe LA and Miami. Yeah, too many crocs and too many sh there's all the saltwater crocs. If you go too far north in Queensland, you can't uh, get in the ocean either. I'm assuming the crocs is what they're talking about. Let's find him before he gets away. Notice how that says pork. Not sure it's actually pork. It's um two-legged pork. You got a jar of the refined brew? Let's talk over here. I'm sure it's two-legged pork. A couple of months now. I think I started early. You see, Feb sounds close, maybe. Luck was with us. If we had reached this camp even a few moments later, I mean, definitely the earlier in the year. But there's a lot of content, so. After all this trouble, Fen better be able to use it to make his elixir. I'm sure if you go to my YouTube channel, you can actually figure that out. But we'll meet up in Spawnus Chambers when everyone gets back from their missions. I hope they're all right. Fen has proven himself. Especially after what happened in Blackreach. House Ravenwatch. They're unusual as far as nice. black suckers go. Nice. Vana, she's braver than I originally thought. Anyway, Ready to meet romance. me in solitude after you finish up. In addition to the... Also, did you do a um, custom character or did you pick one of the... Um, the main ones? What do you call it? Sorry, ones. Yeah, that's cool. I'm pretty sure there's George Dwarfs in the game. Did you romance anyone, or...?
Okay. I mean, I'm not going to judge, but I'd pick. I mean, to each their own, but okay. I mean, I would have gone the typical Karlak, but I fucked it up. I tried to be respectful, and in the end, I didn't like convince her. I didn't make it obvious that I was actually into her. Like when you have the opportunity to kiss her the first time she gets her engine tweaked, instead of kissing her, I gave her a hug. But next time. If I ever go back. Oh, did you know beforehand? Like, did you know beforehand she was just basically a giant teddy bear? Okay. I'm doubting what you're saying, but I'll take your word for it. I, um, when I played, I played as uh, a half-elf sorcerer. But I, I probably should have done a wizard because I didn't realize you could change you had to change your spells only when you leveled up Whereas in a wizard you can swap stuff in and out all the time but, And like that would have been so much more convenient because then I could try shit a lot more Whereas in with sorcerer I had to be really picky and that sometimes I didn't pick it really well and Some and like you didn't have the opportunity to swap out or everything So next time if I played again Gonna push hard for Karlak and also do um, a wizard instead of a sorcerer. So you fucked over the druids then. And the tieflings. Or the tieflings. You're sitting there like a bad man. A woman, or person, I should say. Stand mean. Yeah. Or maybe you're just overly suspicious. But I can't, I can't even remember. I played it, I finished it months ago, so I can't even remember what you're talking about. Honestly, I don't really want to know, because I, I feel like you can't explain yourself out of this. I mean, that's just my opinion, but... Zero out of ten should be arrested.
I mean, not quite as bad as that, but like I remember when I played The Witcher 3 the first time, I got the absolute worst ending. And it pissed me off so much that I restarted it the next day. <laughs> I feel like if I were you, I probably would have given up um, before I'd even finished Act 1 and just started again. Unless you wanted to be a chaotic prick. In which case, fair enough, you did the right thing. Yeah. Problem is, the game's so long, it's like, cool, I know what I'll do when I go back and start again, but now, but there's a certain point where it's like, fuck, can I be bothered now? Oh well. It's what it is. Hopefully you can redeem yourself. Yeah. Okay. Is it maybe just this so much? I came here to learn what the Grey Host has planned and what did I find? Good citizens of the Holds, afflicted by the Harrow Storms and kept prisoner for some ungodly purpose. No matter how many I set free, the Herald will not leave this place. That's all I've been doing, and trying to get these afflicted people to leave this place. The Herald. The storm robs them of their will. Also... Minds. I wasn't able to slip deeper into the camp, though. Did you jump in via the first game or the third game? Because the first game has not aged well, personally, as a fan of the third game. Agreed. There appear to be a number of Grey Host warlords in the camp, so discovering their plans should okay. be possible. Yeah, because if you started with number one, I don't blame you. Um, but number three, serving as food for these bastards. If you can't put your finger on it, you can't put your finger on it. But yeah. Messages have been coming and going since I arrived. I've heard the name Rada Al Saran, the Ashen Lord, spoken in hushed and revered tones. His name was on the communique you found. Remember? We need to get down there and see what else we can learn. Hiding, building their forces, digging, undermining. That's the correct term, I think. Plus, they're collecting the Herald, herding them like cattle. It's monstrous what they're doing to these poor people. It's a shame, because just before I started streaming, I was going to redo The Witcher on stream. Um, but then... The only thing I like, I, I re... Oh, sorry, no, that's a lie. I restarted The Witcher off stream. And I should have, if I'd done it on, maybe if I'd done it on stream, it would have been good because then you can just watch me play it instead, but it's too late now. Oh well, I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube stuff you can check out of people playing it if you at least want to like see maybe just what there is to do before you get there because I know for some people, trying to like get those first couple of hours in can be a bit of a commitment when they don't know what to expect. I don't know, just an idea. Oh, my that's gonna be too brutal for me though. Too much of a sim. Like, having to keep track of your hunger and your thirst and stuff just seems like a pain in the ass. Like, because that's the kind of thing you have to do in that game, right? Like, it's like uber survival. Exarch 
Alice has fallen. I have never seen Rada El Saran, our Ashen Lord, so feel the sorrow or such rage. Does the loss of the Exarch alter our plans? Hello? Not in the least. The strike on Solitude will occur as planned after Exarch Ulfra tests the improved ritual in the Undergrowth. Okay. Maybe I'll consider it when I've run out of other games at a time. We need to move quickly. I've still got plenty of content in this game, so what I'll do is when the other game if the other games come out, I'll pause this swap and then come back and then once of this caught up with this, maybe I'll consider it. I'll have another look and see how it goes. Especially if it goes on sale, I might consider it. Cause I don't wanna pay full price for it and then not enjoy it. And because I don't want to do it, I'll feel bad for a refund as well. In my tent, but the Ashen Lord was clear. We need more Netherroot. See to the Undergrove immediately. As you command, Pintock. The Undergrove? That sounds important. Mm -hmm. The Grey Host definitely has something big planned. Let's search the tents for a copy of those orders. Sounds like they've got a garden or something. Probably the closest I've gotten to that kind of game is Valheim, because you have to keep track of your hunger. That's what we were looking for. I mean, it's not—it's not as bad. You don't die if you don't eat. You just have really bad health. But because your health's directly tied to what you eat, it's also kind of shit at the same time. Orders from Rada Al Saran. His words sent a chill down my spine. I always played that solo, so maybe that was just because I was playing solo. It might even be more dreadful than an all-out attack. We need to get back and determine the exact location of this undergrove place. You saw what happened at Kilkreath and Carthwatch. Whatever they have planned for Solitude, it sounds a whole lot worse. I wish we knew more about this Rada Al Saran and what drives him. A family of monsters? Who could imagine vampires and werewolves working together? Let alone talking about one another like brothers and sisters. It's not natural. Fenorian has the right idea. Come up with a defense against the Harrow Storms. After that, we can take the fight through. We came down here to find out what the Grey Host has planned. But Fen still needs information. That's great news. Cool. That's two out of three spy jobs done. Whoa! Kind of want to avoid that dude if I can. Let's see where am I? Here. Good try to explore the rest of the cave. Oh, mining samples. Hit, what the hell? Look, they attack me and then they run off because they realize. Oh, thanks! I've just been getting ones off Thingiverse that people put up. I'm using them for D&D, hopefully. If I can get a group to actually stay together. Because, um, life keeps happening for people and keep, they keep having to pull out.
Probably post when I'm streaming on there more. My story is on main on the main feed. Printed this one off just before. It's a were rat. It's transformed. Didn't even know they were a thing until recently. That's cool. Alright, see you later. Have a good day. So why should I go all the way? They visited stable. Oh, actually.
Ah, good. I was hoping you'd show up. Lyris was right. This camp is crawling with the Ice Reach Coven. And they're definitely producing the medallions here. I was even able to slip away with one. There's more to figuring out this magic than just watching from afar. I need to know exactly how they go about creating them. It's a landing site for the boats coming from the island of Ice Reach. Plus, they're collecting something here that goes into the process of creating the medallions. Interesting. Determining how they create these medallions will be an enormous help. The Grey Host has accelerated their plans. They need more medallions for a reason. A big harrow storm is coming. We need to be ready. Because the Grey Host is guarding something down there. I couldn't get close, but it appeared that they built the camp to surround something. Mm. Plus, I heard a few of the witches talking. Complaining, really. About In the first era... Corpses? What do they have to do with the medallions? Let's examine the nearby graveyard. Beef trove. Examine the headstones. Let's determine what's so special about the exhumed bodies. Oh. These particular graves so important. Like old, old. Finished. Have you come to any conclusions? Well, we've both been over there. Of course. Compare notes and look for commonalities. You have the makings of a fine scholar, my friend. Now let's see. I noticed there were a mix of... You know, I just broke out a ball of a son of her that died in his sleep. Oh, well, all, all. What's in the commonality? Well, of course. Really? What was that? Alec? Mail? Mail. Well, of course, they did. Tell me more. Of course. 
horse. Why didn't I see that? Mm. The headstones on the exhumed graves all mentioned that the person was... According to one necromantic theory, the older a living thing becomes, the more necrotic energy it naturally acquires. Mm. As a body grows old and withers, the life inside it decays. Necrotic energy is the byproduct of this deterioration. I now know enough about how they create the medallions to move my research along. To fully craft an elixir to defend against the Harrow Storms, I still... You have been busy, my friend. And there's nothing left for us to... Hey. Come on, here. Yeah. I think.
So, do we have a way to defend against the Harrow Storms, or what? The Elixir should do what we need. Provided neither Fen nor I made any miscalculations. Yolin, don't be so negative. The Elixir will work. You'll see. Good, you're back. Mjolin and I have been discussing the various ways to turn what we've got in. The Grey Host uses an unstable mix of alchemy and sorcery to create the Harrowstorms. An arcane ritual and the Netherroot Brew focus the power of each Harrowstorm through the prepared Witch Pikes. Ingenious, we can use the refined brew as the basis of our elixir. Now that we understand how the Harrowstorms are created, we can use those same components to replicate the medallion. Svana's associate, Mog, will procure most of the supplies I need. But there's one final ingredient required. For various reasons, I can't simply walk into the Hall of the Dead. A holy ointment associated with a god that became popular due to Imperial influence. It's used by the priests in the Hall of the Dead. You'll need my help. I'll meet you at the Hall of the Dead. Mog! Put away the tankard and get the supplies Fen requires. Yes, your royal ladiness. I'm keeping the tankard. More refugees arrive by the hour. Why does Svargrim hesitate? The High King issues orders, but all they do... Princess Vanna, what can I do for you, Your Highness? Listen to my friend, High Priest. We need your help. I'm surprised to see the... Pr Sacred oil? Strange. That's the second time today someone has come seeking Arke's anointing balm. Sword Thane Arthlet arrived with an edict from the... The Sword Thane wouldn't say. He just mentioned that the High King needed it to defend uh. solitude. The Sword Thane took the oil to Castle Dower. That's where all the supplies for a siege are gathered during periods of strife. Solitude's foundation began with the construction of Castle Dower. It's the oldest stuff. No, that's suspicious as fuck.
So dour is Princess Vanna. Zortin, our business is urgent. My friend will explain. I don't have time for the princess's proclivities right now. The High King... We barely keep up with the multitude of tasks, so speak quickly. My orders from the High King were clear. Stockpile the entire supply of sacred oil in the Temple of the Divines here within the confines of Castle Dower. What in Shore's name does the princess need with holy oil anyway? Protection? Truly? The Herald already outnumber my soldiers, and more arrive every day. Still, giving you the oil would violate the High King's edict. I suppose if I happened to look the other way for a moment, I wouldn't notice if a flask disappears. Single flask? Then we'll have to make do. Let's get it back to. Zortain, by his work! I gave strict orders, yet my daughter freely enters the castle grounds. What do they want, Zortain? They, um. We came to offer our assistance, Father. Zortain, how can we help? Athlet has everything well in hand, child. Despite your intentions, you would only hinder our efforts. Go! The sword thing doesn't need my daughter or her wastrel underfoot. Is there a king Zen or, or something's wrong with him? My father's never been what I'd call a warm and caring parent. But this crisis has made him even more distant. Let's get this sacred oil to Fen. My father will certainly change his attitude once we present the protective... He's trying to protect me. It's what he does. And leave me out. Though I suppose that's mostly my own fault. I know mother's death weighs on him. As does this entire crisis. It's not that unusual. Castle Dower is the most defensible part of the city. In the past, we'd gather the people inside the walls. Now my father is using... Once it's ready, I'll test the elixir. As you say, Lyris. Ah, here they come now. You have the sacred oil? Add it to the cauldron. Yes, a perfect fusion. It's ready to be tested. Come, let's talk. With the addition of the sacred oil, the elixir is complete. Before we produce enough to distribute to the people of Western Skyrim, we need to test it. I'm confident of my work, but we're dealing with powerful forces here. 
We can't wait for the next terror storm to strike. But what you and Svana learned in Blackreach might help. You heard that Exarch Ulfra was testing Harrowstorm rituals in a place called the Undergrove. We'll go there and let Lyris drink the elixir. During my explorations of Blackreach, I came across an ancient burial site. A place called the Midnight Barrow. This Undergrove must be inside those ruins. Once there, you and Svana keep watch from a safe distance, while Lyris steps into the storm. From what I could tell, the Midnight Barrow sank into Blackreach in the distant past. Somewhere in its chambers, we'll find the Undergrove. The ruined Barrow is in the Lightless Hollow, in the northwest portion of the cavern. We'll meet you there. Well, okay, Duckling Gordo is not the correct place.
I knew I should have taken that last shot. That looked like a harrowed, um, Velma. It's a tell. Honestly, a distant ancestor. Every time I try to sleep, he's in my dreams. I barely had an hour's rest since I came to Dusk Town. It's going to kill me if it doesn't drive me mad first. He's been calling me here, I think. To put him to rest, I think. He's being tormented as much as he's tormenting me. I came to this terrible place to find his remains. But the tomb robbers have angered the dead, and I'm terrified to step foot into the barrow alone. My damned ancestor is the traitor Jarl, Hagridden. He was buried alive in the Midnight Barrow long before I was born. Unfortunately, he has no tomb. My family only speaks his name to curse it. I'm told he betrayed his hold, so he was cast into the Midnight Barrow with other exiles and traitors. Far out of reach of Sovngarde. I can't say whether he deserved that, but I know he suffered for it. Call it a feeling. What I've seen in my dreams are a jumble of incoherent events and feelings. There's little that I remember that makes any sense. But when I wake, there's a pall that hangs over me, like I've been wronged somehow. This place, I think. I've only seen glimpses of it in my dreams. It used to be a place where terrible criminals were exiled to be forgotten. Until it met the same fate. Faded into myth. 
just like Blackreach. Ghouls picking the bones of the dead. Necromancers and the like. They seem to be the ones who found this old lost barrow. I don't know what they came here for. But they've disturbed Jarl Hagridden, and gods know what else. Then stay put until we clear a path to the Undergrove. Fine. Just don't take all day. This is it. I saw my Look lively and let's get on with in it. My dreams, but I only know roughly where they are. Careful of the Draugrkin. They'd sooner make a corpse of you than talk. Ugh, I hate... Go on. We're going to find... Very. God, this is a big doof. Well, that's fucked. None of the souls in this horrid pit received a proper burial. Ah. Neither will we if we aren't careful. That's the wrong way. If you have something else more important to do, fine. I'll just wait here. in your hand and stayed so in our was blood. His Sending his soldiers into a trap?
many bones are down here. So many were left to lie down here. No need. We're here. The princess insisted. We followed at a safe distance and only advanced after you cleared the way. From this point on, we stay together. the wrong way. If you have something else more important to do, fine. I'll just wait here. Treason against your hold and your people. We cast you from the halls of your ancestors. May they never know your name. I did not betray my hold. She's the one who should face your judgment. Seal him in. Oh, gods. I can feel his terror. It's suffocating.
Max is kinder than this torture pit. I'm glad this place was forgotten. Jarl Hagridan has a matter of urgency for you to attend to. What does he know to send us this far into the Reach? You have your orders, Thane. I trust you know enough to carry them out. Who was she to be bossing a Thane around? It's not wise. seem comforting. We need to find where they're experimenting with the Harrow Storms. You honor me with your presence, my king. Greyhost, 
Stay quiet and listen. This arrow storm must be the biggest we have ever wrought, my sister in arms. That's the leader of the Grey Host. Have we heard from Solitude? Is everything in place? I have been assured this city is ripe for harvest. Oh, sir. Not Al Saran and Axarch Ulfra. Should we postpone the test? Certainly not. The holds are counting on us. Besides, we might be able to end this threat right here and now. Murderers who killed our beloved Singalis. And you're about to join him. Impudent mortal! You will pay for your crime. <laughs> now for the rest of these curves. Allow me the honor of spilling the blood. Very well, sweet sister. Join me in Oh, no, no! See to Lyris, Fen. Pray your elixir works. Protect me. She needs time for the elixir to do its job. stood in a hero storm and nothing happened. Fen's elixir is a success. And we took out another one of the Grey Host leaders. We've done good, my friend. Never better. We need to create as much of the elixir as possible and distribute it throughout Solitude before Rada Al Saran's massive hero storm hits. I also want to find out who in the city is helping him. Let's meet back at the Blue Palace. The King. Once my father understands that we have a way to protect against the hero storms, he'll have to take us seriously. Let's get back to the city as fast as we can. I know, right? It happened so quickly. When we confronted Rada Al Saran and Exarch Ulfra, the Vampire Lord blasted Lyris with his magic. When I saw her fall, I knew I had to act. It certainly gave us a fighting chance. When she called forth the Hero Storm, I grabbed the elixir from Lyris and barely thought about what I was doing. I just drank it down and walked into the storm. I don't disagree, but somebody had to do it. There wasn't any other option. And I'd do it again. My people are counting on me. Tell me, do I have a new scar? You go on ahead. I'll make... Giving you.
listen to your daughters, Margaret. We need to do something. Don't test me, Red Han. I know exactly what I need to do. Our enemy's circle ever closer, and now even my daughter turns against me. What's next? Will my beloved wife return to accuse me of some heinous crime? Well, get to it. You represent my most hated enemy, and expect me to believe a word you say? Even if you speak true, worms have found per... Trust, Svana. Perhaps. No. No! Your honeyed words are... Hell! I need no help from the likes of you! Don't be a fool, father. This elixir will save our people. I didn't think you had it in you, daughter. You have actually surpassed my expectations, more's the pity. And I'll hear no more talk of this miracle elixir. Ah! Father, the no! Grey Host is my true ally. Once the Harrow Storm engulfs solitude, my kingdom will endure for all eternity. Fucking knew it. I should have sensed it. Svargrim's a vampire. Svana, not now, Lyrus. I... I need to think about this. Svargrim's a bastard, but King Yorin believed he had the best interest of his people at heart. Obviously, something changed. And with... Not everything is as grim as it appears. We did create an elixir. That's our best chance of protecting the people from the Harrowstorm. We just need... Father, how could... My father... Working with the Grey Host... How long has he been a part of this? Did he have a hand in Mother's death? And what has he told them? It's almost too much... You're right. I know you're right. It's just... He's my father. I'm... I'm not sure we can. But we can make more of Fen's elixir. Get it into the hands of the people. We need more. They've taken it! By the gods, it's fallen! Fallen? What are you talking about? The Grey Host. They came out of nowhere, captured the temple and the Tower of the Wolf. We're locked out! Then a sacred oil. Mm. Damn it all! I need to get down there! Follow him! Now, soldier, tell me exactly what happened. Fucking king. Bit of that asshole of the guards in on it too. We're done. The grey host has found a foothold. Now the city is lost. Not yet it isn't. On your feet, Sword Thane. We have work to do. I... Yes, Princess Svana. I apologize for that display. Tell the princess... Tell her it won't happen again. You need to understand. Nothing good, I'm sure. The Grey Host appeared out of nowhere and cut down my soldiers. Only a handful were able to escape before... Not that I can think of. But what does it matter? Svargrim brought the Grey Host down upon us. He's bringing a herald. That's unacceptable, Sartain. If we can't get the sacred oil to make more elixir, then we have to stop the Hero Storm. Princess, we've kept watch. There aren't any witch pikes around the city. And uh... missed something. They needed the witch pikes for every other Hero Storm they summoned. Of course. Blackreach. The Grey Host must have gained access to the temple from beneath the city. They could easily hide the witch pikes underneath our feet. We know the Grey Host has been using Blackreach to clandestinely move around Western Skyrim. Why not launch their attacks from there? Then we're going back to Blackreach. If the witch pikes are there, we'll destroy them. Yorin sent me with a warning for solitude. Now I'm about to march into the starless depths of Blackreach to try to avert a massacre. How do I keep getting myself? I thought you knew me better than that. Taking on the impossible challenge, beating the unbeatable Svargrim. To cast his lot with the Grey Host, become a vampire, 
threaten his own people with the Harrows. One step. As a junior member of House Raven Watch, I never expected to be in the thick of things like this. Am I looking forward to going back to where Singalis experimented on me? Not even remotely. The Grey Host can't summon the Harrowstorm without performing their ritual. And we know that requires witch pikes, so there's that. Plus the usual assault. I had hoped to secure this. You're absolutely My father. A vampire. He sat on his throne, pretended to mourn for my mother. I... I know. It's just... Look, we were never close. Not really. But he's my father. My king. Such confidence. As sharp and as cold as my dagger's blade. I'm going to do whatever I can to stop the heroes. It must be right now. Guess for the um, impression. I'm free. I escaped. I never thought I am now. I think, well, that's not the whole of it. Ominous. And, unless I miss my guess, it's directly under solitude. 
That's our target. The ritual site must be somewhere inside that horrid structure. I scouted the area before you arrived. It's full of Grey Host forces. And from what I could tell, Svagrim and Rada al Saran are both inside. Not so fast. If we rush down as a group, they'll be on us like a snow bear on a horker. You go ahead. Try to cross the bridge to the main entrance. It's well guarded, but you're more than capable. Or you could try the alternative. So, you know about the sluice gate in the outer courtyard, against the eastern wall of the keep? You can avoid the few patrols in the area if you're stealthy. Opening the gate requires a key, but that should be simple enough to get your hands. You know your strengths and weaknesses better than I do. Play to those. But whichever path you decide, move quickly. Cross the bridge, or use the sluice gate to get into the inner courtyard. Then find the keeps. That's a good...
Well, <laughs> nice of you to join us. I don't understand. What am I supposed to do with these flasks? If we run into trouble, throw one of them at the source. Split up and find the ritual site. We need to disrupt it. Split up? I suppose that makes sense. I'll go with our friend here. Lyris. This looks important. This book? I recognize the handwriting. It's Singalis's. Hmm. This might be something. I just need to skim through these assumptions and incantations. What's this? Instructions on the placement of runes throughout. The magic I sensed earlier. It was familiar because it's the same magic used in the Harrowstorm rituals. Don't you see? This entire keep is the ritual site. They turned the tower into a witch pike. But at the scale, it's... I... I'm not sure we can destroy this tower. We need to keep going. Find a way to disrupt the ritual. But I think I understand what they're doing. The Harrowstorms steal life energy and use it to pull the souls of the Grey Host out of Cold Harbor and into the Grey Reliquaries. It's quite ingenious. How they reincorporate, though. It has something to do with those stones. Oh, most certainly. Perhaps even a way to reverse the effects of the Harrowstorms and restore the Harrowed. If the notes are complete. Svana, I think this entire tower functions as a witch pike. What? Then how is that even possible? Ah! The energy! of the Grey Host shall be reborn. Yash, Lord. 
He turns Fargrim into the heart of his hero storm. They're moving higher up the tower. We need to follow them. You and Fen take these stairs. Spana and I will go this way. I need to go up, not down. Look, a grey reliquary. It's missing. Just like the storm they planned to unleash on the city. arrive once more to prick my bones. A barrier. And Rada al -Saran? Your persistence begins to annoy me, mortal. You killed my beloved brother and sister, Singalis and Ulfra. I freed them and you sent them back. As much as it would please me to flay the flesh from your bones. I have more pressing matters to attend to. 
But know this, as I felt each death, you shall... Bold words, but futile. Svargrim rises, and the Herostorm with him. Once the attunement is finished, they will be unstoppable. What happened? What did that damn vampire do? He's merging the power flowing through the keep with Svargrim, giving him control of the Harrowstone. Then you must undo it. I'll stay and help. Leaders, you and our friend keep going up and find my father. Ready to fight. Keep moving! Don't let them surround us! Nearly through. We were able end. to stop the attunement spell. It's just getting stronger. A tower. It must lead to the upper levels. I need time to get that door open. Everyone, protect Ben! into the upper levels now. Hurry! Just... No. The whole key. The shaking is getting worse. Damn magic! Give me something to hit! The magic! It's El Saron! The attunement is almost complete.
I leave the harrowing of solitude to you. Remember your Still far beneath the ground. Mana chop me I'm down to You abandoned me in our moment of triumph. What game do you play, Radha Al Sarah? Game. I gave you power. If you can't conquer Skyrim, the fault is your own. Now ascend to your tower of the wolf and unleash my most potent hero storm. The Grey Host is counting on you, little king. the booming voices. Where's Spargrim? My father's ascended into solitude, but Radha Al-Saran, I think he's leaving. Interesting. Lyris assumed the Grey Host was preparing to attack, but it's just as possible they're relocating their forces. We'll figure that out later, after we stop my father. Fair enough. Fre oh my. What is it now, Fen? Oh, nothing. Just don't look down. Jesus. These tunnels look freshly dug. The Grey Hostess. Harrow fiends. Became of the heavy spark of the castle. Harold, 
Corralled like warhounds about to be set loose. Up ahead, that's the temple's undercroft. they do to this place? Above the Tower of the Wolf, the storm's only partially formed. My father's up there. Open the gates and let's go. It's below the temple. They escape into the streets. You and I will keep that from happening. Take the princess and deal with Svargrim, partner. Behind us! The Herophings! I'm with you, my friend. Up the stairs! Get to the tower and stop Svargrim. We'll hold the gate. to my ascension. Radha Al-Saram has given me power beyond anything you can imagine. Behold!
My father betrayed everything to aid the Grey Host. With his death, solitude is saved. It's done. We killed my father and ended the Herostorm. The city... No, of course not. My father was the High King of Western Skyrim. I always thought he had the best interests of our holds and our people in his heart. For Svargrim? Yes, I think it was. As for Radha al Saran and the Grey Host, I am not entirely sure what they're after. Enough of this. I need to get... First, on behalf of Western Skyrim, take this with my thanks. We would have been lost without you. Then rest. Check on our friends. Injuries must be tended to, buildings repaired. Whatever Radha al Saran and the Grey Host were planning, I think the worst is behind us as far as Western Skyrim is concerned. With my... Not officially. At least, I don't think so. Hopefully, they were able to hold the courtyard and keep those months. Thank you. Help? Gods, I hope... Tell me truthfully, Lyris. How much of this blood is mine? Not enough to be worried about. You did it. I shouldn't be surprised. But things were look. We held the gate as long as we could. But the Harrow Fiends were a flood of claws and teeth. Once they... I... I'm not really sure. I kind of went wild. Let out my inner beast, as it were. <laughs> I was rending and slashing. Then Lyris whacked me with the flat of her blade. At least that's the last thing I remember. No. The elixir is my next priority, of course. As long as the Harrow Storms are still a threat, we need a defense against them. After that, sadly, I don't think there's any hope for them. Their life energy was sucked dry, turning them into feral beasts. Restoring them is beyond my capabilities, I'm afraid. At least with the Harrowed, they're not so far gone as to... As soon as we produce enough of it, yes. We saw how it protected Svar... So, is it over? What happened to Svargrim? And where's Svana? A parent's betrayal cuts deeper than a sword. But Svana's strong. Stronger than she's been given credit for. And Solitude's going to need that strength in the coming days. If you told me the tavern rat we met at the Lonely Troll would become my choice to lead this land... <laughs> I'd have called you mad. Then again, my king's a scald, so what do I know? Come on, there's probably something productive we should be doing. Find out if everyone in the Hall of the Dead is all right. I'll make sure Castle... We did our best to hold the Harrow Fiends inside Castle Dower, but nothing... Almost didn't. We were nearly overrun before Fen went wild. I've never seen him like that, snarling and showing what a true vampire can do. Took that. Good 
the sea you aren't raising bugs with Ismir just yet. We saw the storm break, but we heard nothing since you departed from Blackreach. I regret we didn't throw a beret to welcome you back, but I'll cheer enough for a hundred souls if you tell me you put that backbiter of a High King to the sword. But what of Svana? Is she? That's good, but a daughter shouldn't have to kill her own father. Svana has my support, for whatever that's worth. She's going to need all the help she can... Not until we hold a moot to support her claim, and we need more than a single Jarl for that to occur. If Svana proves herself as the acting Jarl, they might look past her father's failings and make her the queen, eventually. We can settle the matter of the crown when there's kingdom enough to rule. What remains of the holds are still ravaged by the harrow storms, and I doubt we've seen the last of the Grey Host, for that matter. None good, but none bad either. My wife knows better than anyone how to care for our people. I trust she and my fame to protect and care for Morthal in my... We seem to have survived, thank the gods. I thought for certain we were all about to witness the end of the world. No thanks to Svargrim, damn his eyes. After you and the princess went off to Blackreach, I gathered whoever we could and made our stand here in the hall. Far fewer than I feared when the storm began. Thanks to you and the princess, with the storm over and the Grey Host driven from Castle Dower, my soldiers will get the city back into shape. As long as no one else attacks us in the meantime, they're here! They're at the gates! The Grey Host? I thought we were done with them for now. Not the Grey Host! The Scold King! With an army from the east! What treachery is this? Through the gates. We'll give the Scold King a proper welcome. One way or another. No, that's a little fuck to him. Stand down, you idiots! We come in peace. Partner, I could really use your knack for diplomacy right now. Speak to the Skull King before we start a war. Sure, save me from fools and prophets. Will no one properly greet a weary traveler? Oh, familiar face. Maybe you can talk some sense into these Western milk drinkers. We're not a damn invasion. So the rumors are true. Svargrim joined the Grey Host. I knew he had ambitions, but to throw away his humanity like... That's why I sent Lyris here in the first place. I'm not the king of these holds, though. I can't do anything if they refuse my help. Svargrim despised me, he would never accept my aid, but... We have no need of help that involves welcoming your soldiers within our walls. My walls, Jarl. My father may have been willing to slap aside the helping hand, but I'm not. Permit me a word with your envoy, Skald King. Thank you. For holding the line, I mean. I'm ready to do what I should have done a long time ago. To do what my father never could. I'll speak with this guy. We saved solitude, but our war with the Grey Host is far from over. We need Fen's elixir more than ever. With that, that depends on Fen. If there's anything standing in his way, let me know. Fen is with old Mjolin at the Mage's Guild. When you're finished with him, join me in the courtyard of the Blue Palace. I'm going to hold a moment of remembrance for this city. We all need a moment to mourn what we lost. I'm going to invite the Scald King to join us. If the people of Solitude see him bow his head up there. The King and his... 
counselors are coming. Are you an Lawrence individual Bell. with a love of tinkering? Genius. A rare thing to find an elf with the makings of a clever woman. Despite what my kin might proclaim, it's not all in the blood. Ah, good, you're here. We've made a... I was just discussing a theory with Mjolin, and it seems like... A cure. Singolus's research on the nether root showed me just how it weakens the connection between a body and its soul. Thus far, I've been able to inure a person to the root, but now I'm certain I can use that knowledge to heal. Well, it is just a theory at this point. There's a lot more testing and experimentation to be... I know, I know. We can't simply put things on hold. Mjoland and I have a batch brewing right now, and materials to keep producing for another day. Ingert's promised us a steady supply of Arke's oil, but that's not our limiting factor. We know enough about Singolus' refinement processes to replicate his methods. But we still need a source of netherroot to do so. Tell Svan, we can ransack Greyhost stockpiles, or mount an expedition into Blackreach. Otherwise, it would take decades of work to produce a proper crop. After we get the elixir squared away, we'll turn our attention to curing the Harrowed. Indeed. As I surmised, the Grey Reliquaries contained the remains of ancient Greyhost warriors. They served as a connection to the souls trapped in Cold Harbor. Using the energy from the Harrow Storms, I believe the Stone Husks are incubators of a sort. Mm. The physical forms of the Grey Host are reincorporated within the Stone Vessels through a mix of Zingolus's alchemy and sorcery and the magic of the Ice Reach Witches. When her Big gem. I was hoping you'd return before we began. Tell me you've got good news. I'll feel a lot better delivering a speech. Not the best news, but I'll take it. So long as we have enough to protect our soldiers, we have a fighting chance against the Grey Host. Now that would be cause for celebration. If he can really bring back even a fraction of those we lost to the Hero Storms, I'm willing to try. That's all I needed to hear. Nothing fancy. Just a traditional Nord wake. To more... None of us would be here to sing dirges for the dead or celebrate the living if not for you. I certainly wouldn't be here, ready to leave my hold. You've supported me since I started down this path. I'm honored to have you here at the end. Sons and daughters of Skyrim, we have the honor today of remembering the dead. Honor to the fallen! Sons and daughters of Skyrim, our trials were fierce, but we are still here. We stand and we remain! Now, we raise our voices to tell Sovngarde of the coming of the worthy dead, and to tell the world that the Nords are still here. We are still standing. The fallen now march home to hallowed halls to join our ancestors in boundless drink and song and brawls. Let sound the horns that peal the bells that loose the ancient hymn. We will remain until time ends, we children of Skyrim. Have it. I 
can't think of a more fitting send-off for my father. Joran Redharn and I need to form a plan to distribute Fen's elixir. I can't leave everything to you, you know. I... I don't know. Sovngarde is a place for the honored dead. Svargrim gave up his seat in the Hall of Valor when he made his pact with the Ashen Lord. Hey, that's it from this mine quest of the zone. Star quest left. of solitude? What's our hold coming to? Quiet you! Princess Svana and her allies saved us all. Is that one big head still alive? You see a pretty board, Laurel. Oh, thank you. That's good.
Thank good. You ever hear about? Oh. Tins and scholars should. There's some side point. Says. Get him to the inn and I'll do what I can. Come on, let's warm you up. Thanks for praising. The rubes and oaks that reside in this town see spooks under every fish barrel. Normal animal attacks become works of supreme evil in their minds. My husband and I have too much on our plate to spend time investigating. I couldn't get much out of Groon, but it seems wolves attacked Havel's farm over to the west. He claims the beasts were only bones and covered in ice. I'm not inclined to be. Wolf packs do roam around the outskirts of town. Occasionally they snatch away a chicken or a goat. But attacking groups of people is unusual. Tell you what, could you go to the farm and get the truth? There would be coin in it for you. Excellent. The people of Mortal are basically good. They just let their imaginations run wild. Learning the truth of this attack could help curb any future issues with the wolves. I'll check on Brune at the tavern. His shivering concerns me. Oh, one can't live in this world without encountering a stray specter. Seeing chains drop from the sky changes what we accept as normal. And magic impacts all. Let's say I'm skeptical. The people of Mortal spend their days fishing, cutting logs, and drinking. They don't leave town, and outsiders don't visit. 
spreading wild tales. Last week, Bandor accused Invisible Reeker of stealing his beard comb. The mill ceased operation completely while the town searched for holes in the ground where they might be hiding. We found it in the stables where he'd been grooming the horses. <laughs> Indeed, I am proud to call him my husband. Without his strength, this town would certainly fall apart. When I arrived in Mordor, ah, I, came, I believe my glass. my life was over. But Red Harden made us a fine home here for which I am grateful. Gods, no. I hoped my diction would show that. Perhaps I've lived here long enough to adopt... Are you mad? Don't step foot anywhere near that farm. Those bolt by Moloch's nethers, what else would you call them? Felt like just a normal day of working the field. Then a freak storm blows in. Anyone brought down by wolves turned. Their skin shriveled and froze before my eyes. Then they attacked me. People still think you're mad, but I appreciate that you're willing to check on Havel. He's a grumpy old coot, but when those bone wolves came out of the storm, we scattered. Some people tried to defend themselves with rakes, but we're farmers, not warriors. Brune's still alive? One of those tusking wolves latched onto his leg, but that didn't slow him down. He fended it off with a hammer, and they started off faint, like a low murmur. As the storm grew, the spirit faded before reaching. doing in my house first all my workers rot away into monsters because of frozen skeleton wolves and now strain you saw those creatures in the field if I leave they'll make me like them I have all I need in here to hold out until they are gone Besides, I saw the spirit of someone we thought disappeared years ago the Jarl and lady's daughter Freywin they never talk about it too painful no clue why she'd bring this upon us. Freywin always loved visiting the farm. Actually, there's someone who might know about Freywin's fate. A clever woman who speaks with spirits named Old Mjolnir. Perhaps you could... Her hut lies to the northeast. She is a strange one for sure. Always stealing my chickens for her un... Oh, yes. Well, I... That old witch makes my... What? Can I feed the chickens, Hubble? Of course, my dear. Go ahead and grab some seed. Another traveler approaches. Come, warm. Ah, so you come to me again. 
Were our dealings with your pale friend not enough? Wondered when they would send someone. Zone outsider surprises me. Yes, I know of the fleshless fools. But a ghost of young blood and tissue tear some decayed skin off an affected person and scrape dried blood from a cursed wolf. Bring me these things so I can understand what kind of magic we're dealing with. I feel good. Go on. Return. Because I'm smarter than most Nords? <laughs> I jest. People from the North fear magic. Don't understand it? Must be dangerous. They believe my power comes from that trickster shore. If he was so clever, then I must be too. At least as Nords see it. Out of sight, out of mind. The fools believe they can ward off magic's consequences by pushing it away. I did. She was beloved by the whole town. Even those of us... No, no, I will not tell you what is not yours to know. At least until I can see what caused it. Now where did I put those rune stones? Such sloppy magic. Untrained. The scent of death enters my nose. Your time with the cursed creatures has marked you. Let's hope not permanently. Yes, these will do nicely. Fresh, intact, thrumming with magic. This shall make the ritual easy. Many things. Is this a spell or a curse? Where does it get its power? Magic holds unique patterns. Good. Just as I feared. Come, listen to a tale. The ritual bears out my fears. I recognize the curse corrupting life around Morthal. Years ago, a death mage named Maxton killed a group of town guards. All I know are whispers. They say Maxton kidnapped Freewin and forced her into the ruins. Vanished. Until now, it seems. Though the leap between Freywin's ghost and this curse still remains unclear. To find a cure, I need Maxton's own. Good. Meet me. As I said, she was a conjurer of death. I never spoke with her, but rumor still... Oh, a forest night stroll. This I don't know. Interesting. Even as a... Ch an excellent question. A simple stone. A shame, but...
けないAlright, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, you want to check out the Twitch stream live. Link will be in the description below. Or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash windows96. Um, I won't be on tomorrow night. I'll be painting and doing some personal stuff. But I should be back online on Wednesday. Till then, see you later.